I hear good things from my commander's mercenary. What news do you have? The Athenian commander is dead. Megaris is ready to fall. Good. The wolf has ordered the attack. I'm glad you're here to join us in our march to glory. I'm proud to fight by your side. Yes, you have earned your place. We will win the day for Sparta and the wolf. Come, we must reach the forward camp. I am ready. Follow me. We must prepare for the battle ahead. So, tell me about the wolf. He is a great man. He will lead Sparta to victory against the... No, no. What is he like as a man? As a father? He... Uh, he used to be admired. Strong, caring in his way, but sometimes I... Yes? Nothing. Just... He gets this faraway look in his eyes. And I sense the sadness. He is Sparta's general. But he is also made of flesh and blood. Life cannot be lived without some regrets. This won't be like any other battle I've been a part of. Are you ready to crush the Athenians? I'm ready for war. The wolf requests the presence of the mercenary. We shall be up to him in a moment. With respect, he wishes to see the mercenary alone. What? I said the commander I wishes... I heard what you said. I just don't understand why. Those were his orders, sir. Very well. It appears I have other matters to attend to. So you are the champion who won us today. Tell me your name, hero, so that I may greet you as a true warrior. Here, Pater. It's been a long time. Impossible. I saw you fall. I didn't fall. You fucking threw me to my death. I did what was required of me as a Spartan. I've made my peace with that. You need to as well. You were my father. You were supposed to protect me. You were reckless. You forced my hand. I was protecting my brother because you wouldn't. The Oracle decreed that Alexios had to die. Her word is absolute. You know that. You can't cower behind your sense of duty anymore. Enough! can't change the past. <laughs> I will live and die a Spartan. There's a large reward for the mercenary that can collect the wolf's head. 
Is that why you're here? You've avoided the past long enough! Now you will answer to me! Though you deserve death, there is no honor in vengeance. You must face the ghosts of your past, Pater, and that is a fate worse than death. I have failed in my duty. I failed to protect you, to protect both of you. I loved you and your brother as if you were truly my own. But you are never mine. What do you mean? That is a question you should ask your mother. Wait. Find your mother. Find her? Wherever Marini is, she knows far more than I do. Where will you go? To find my honor. Beware the snakes in the grass, Cassandra. I need to get out of here. I should head back to Varnavas. So, did you kill your father? Step... father. I suppose the gods won't judge you too harshly for a step patricide. Nikolaos raised me, trained me. He was my father, even if he did try to kill me. Is that better or worse? No matter. Yours isn't the only complicated family in the world. Thanks. I'm glad to have you around, Varnavas. I am happy to be here. Would anything else help? Finding my mother. She's alive, Varnavas. At least, Nikolaos thought so. Some good news, praise Ira. What's your plan? What course should I set, Captain? For now, we go to Fakis. Elpinor said he'd meet me there. He owes me money, and an explanation. Aye, Cassandra. And let's seek the wisdom of the Pythia while we're there. If anyone has answers for you, it's the Oracle of Delphi. The Oracle's predictions destroyed my family. The Pythia has the wisdom of Apollo himself. Now, I'll admit, if people choose to ignore her, they might court disaster. If we'd ignored the Pythia, my brother would still be alive, and our mother would be safe at home. Hmm. Back to business. You know where to meet Elpinor, I suppose? His home is in Pilgrim's Landing, but... Klaus's last words to me were a warning of snakes in the grass. Sounds like you should make extra preparations. Elpinor is the one who should prepare. Meet me at Apollo's temple in Delphi when you're done dealing with the snakes. Oh, and Cassandra, in all the excitement I nearly forgot. Terrible things have happened to your home. That old house? It was barely standing to begin with. I meant Kefalonia. A sickness has spread across the island. They say it started in Kausos. There doesn't seem to be a cure. Many have died. Malaka. That... The priest was right. Just say the word. We can return to Kefalonia whenever you wish. Thanks, Varnavas. I'll keep that in mind. Let's go. Elpinor has a lot of explaining to do.
Ah, Mistyos. How was Megaris? The wolf is dead. Excellent. The full amount is promised. You expected me to haggle? Come now, Cassandra. It isn't every day I have someone kill their own father. But he wasn't your real father, was he? Why did you send me to kill Nikolaus? Because I knew you could. Oh, why him? Because he was brilliant. He would have taken Athens in a month, two at most. And Stentor doesn't have the wolf's genius. You wanted to save Athens? There's no profit in a quick war. I know, I know. It's a lot to take in all at once. Come. Tell me, Mistyos. Did you learn anything worthwhile in your dealings with the wolf? He mentioned my birth father. He might still be alive. Not for long, if all goes according to plan. What do you mean? You are going to bring me his head, of course. Have you lost your mind? You killed the man who raised you for Drachmi. I merely assumed you wanted your family dead as much as I do. Malaka! You think you can play with me? I'll cut out your tongue! So disappointing. You need to... Huh? Elpinor snuck away like a coward. I should investigate his house. A letter to Elpino. Oh, Phoebe, you led him right to me. Elpinor's looking for a woman. I wonder who he wants in his slimy grasp now. This is a ship manifest. Elpinor's selling weapons to both Athens and Sparta. He wants this war to go on forever. I have met some treacherous people. None of them compared to Elpinor. I'm going to look under every rock, in every shadow, until I find and kill this vile serpent. just by looking at it? You're more than some simple pilgrim. All things in Delphi are more than they appear. Even I. My name is Herodotus. I'm a storyteller. Or I was. This war is forcing us all to new extremes. Hmm. That much is true. Why are you hiding your identity? I'm here on behalf of a man in Athens. A very powerful man. We intend to finally end this war. You told me you came to ask the Oracle a personal question. War is personal, Barnabas. So, you came to seek the Pythia's guidance on how to end the war? I did. Though something is wrong in Delphi. Guards at every turn, people being turned away. Delphi is nothing, like they say. Has it always been like this? No. 
This was once an open and welcoming place. But war changes things. People seek out the Pythia for more political reasons. Prophecies in times of war often stir violent emotions. It's wise to keep your blades sheathed. Drawing blood in Delphi is considered an insult to Apollo. Punishment is severe. This line is ridiculous. Are there always this many people to see the Pythia? These are more than just people. Every city sends a Fiori, or sacred ambassadors, to seek guidance on behalf of their people. The Pythia not only shapes the destinies of individuals, but of the entire Greek world. Imagine what power one would have if they controlled what came out of her mouth. Apollo controls this. Of course he does. You don't seem convinced the Pythia can be believed. What did she tell you? I asked her to show the path to the war's end. She said, Spring should not wish for winter, as it brings death with it. Such wisdom! I don't understand the word of it, but that's why she's in there and we're out here. I know a threat when I hear one. <laughs> You were on Kefalonia for too long. I have my own questions for the Pythia. But this time, I'll be an old woman by the time I see her. <laughs> You're joking! You carry more blades than a field of grass! I didn't come here to start trouble. Trouble? Just walk in! Who's going to stop you? The priest? <laughs> All right. But if things get out of hand, I'm blaming you, Varnavas. Is she not every bit as great as I said? I'm here to see the Pythia. Only those chosen by the light of Apollo may enter. How does one get chosen? One goes to the back of the line. Do I look like someone who waits in line? Enter into the light of Apollo, the light that illuminates shadow. Choose your question wisely, mortal, for you have but one. Speak, truth seeker! I'm looking for my father. My true father. Who is he? It's you! From the visions! The child on the mountain! How could you know that? You need to leave. Now. Leave? Do you have any idea what I've been through to get here? Oh, but I do. While in Kausos, you didn't cower in the face of the priest. A child and her family still live thanks to you. But how? No one can hide from the light. Please. I've come this far. You must have the answers I seek. Child of the mountain. The cult of Cosmos have eyes everywhere. They will kill you. Cult of Cosmos? The Oracle has spoken! The prophecy is yours! You never answered my question! The Pythia is done for the day. I'm not leaving until I get answers! Irodotos, I... you're still here. Where's Varnavas? He's gone back to your ship. You don't look happy with your prophecy. She... knew who I was. <laughs> She's the Pythia. It's her business to act like she knows you. That was no act. She said she had visions of me as a child on a mountain. What child hasn't stood on a mountain? I was thrown from that mountain. My life started and ended on that mountain. I'm telling you, she knew who I was, what I'd done. She tried to warn me. Warn you? About what? She mentioned the cult of Cosmos. Does this mean anything to you? 
I'd heard whispers. A cult unlike any other coming to Delphi. But I paid them no mind. And the Pythia seemed afraid of them. The guards took her away. Took her away? Then the whispers were true. If this cult has corrupted the Pythia... This is devastating news. Do you understand what this means? Through her, the cult controls the world. I need to speak with her when she's not so well protected. That would require a miracle from the gods. She is always protected. You know more about the Pythia than I do. Where would she be? When she's not in the temple of Apollo, she's at her home in the Hora of Delphi. Where in the Hora of Delphi does the Pythia live? I've heard she lives on the outskirts of the village, but be warned, she will be guarded. Not everyone comes to see the Oracle with the best of intentions. I can't go breaking down every door until I find her. The Oracle's home is probably easy enough to spot. She'd be the only person in the Hora of Delphi who can afford to live in luxury. I'll find where the Pythia lives, and I will get answers. Cassandra, don't forget. Brute force is useless when finesse is required. <laughs> no! Guards! I'm not here to hurt you. I just want answers. The Pythia is a sacred vessel of the gods. People travel the world for my answers. But none of them would dare break into my home. Apollo's wrath will be cruel and swift. Guards! I'm looking for my family. And everywhere I go, people are either lying or trying to kill me. You're the first person who might have some answers. But they'll kill me if I tell you. Not if I get to them first. Help me, and no harm will come to you, I promise. All right. But ask your questions quickly. The longer you're here, the more at risk we both are. You said you saw me in your visions. What did you see? There is an artifact under the Temple of Apollo. It reveals what only the gods should know. You called me the child on the mountain. The cult hunts a Spartan child who survived a terrible fall from Mount Taietos. The artifact revealed that child to be you. Why would you work for the cult? I have no choice. So, all those prophecies from the gods, all those people, you're paid to deceive them all? Most want to know about love or death. I tell them what they want to hear. But when people want to know about war or politics, I'm paid very well to tell them what the cult wants them to hear. What is this cult of Cosmos? They are the eyes that see, but go unseen. Enough with the riddles! I want names! I don't know! I swear! They hide behind masks and shrouds! You have an opportunity to do the right thing. Tell me where to find the cult. Tell me where they are, or we'll go find them together. Beneath the Temple of Apollo there is an ancient chamber. I think they meet there. But without one of their cloaks and masks, you won't make it more than two steps inside. Where can I find one of these cloaks and masks? There is a man. He visits me from time to time, makes sure I'm well taken care of. I have the biggest house in the Hora of Delphi, yet he still offers Drachmi for my troubles. Gives me the creeps. What's his name? Elpinor. Elpinor? He's with the cult? I can't be sure, but if he is, he would definitely have what you require. Any idea where I can find him? There is a fort just south of the Valley of the Nymph. He's been known to conduct business there. You've been helpful. May the light of Apollo guide you to your family.
So much for using finesse. I should tell Herodotus what Epithea told me about the cult. Maybe he'll have some insight. Well? What did the Pythia tell you? The cult of Cosmos is hunting me. But I'm going to hunt them first. She told me they meet in a secret chamber under the Temple of Apollo. So it's all true. If the cult has done anything, it's fooled this old man. I can't get in without a mask and cloak. It's how the cultists identify each other. The Temple of Apollo is by the Cave of Yea. Simple enough to find. But a cultist's mask and cloak... How will you accomplish that? The Pythia gave me the only clue I need. When I'm ready, I'll meet you at the temple. For now, I'm going to kill Elpinor. Malakas liar.